Hey guys, so um, this is a video for one move in the bow staff form. So learn it on your own, have fun with it, um, but it is the, the hardest move in the bow staff form. Um, it's a figure eight technique called a flower. Uh, what we're gonna do is, Miss Mackenzie's on the camera, we're gonna show you it from the front of me and from all the sides, so you see from all four sides. Uh, I want you to notice on the video as best you can that my bow staff has a, a strip of red tape at the top of it, and then the other side is normal, it's a black bow staff that's gonna come into play as I'm explaining this, okay? So the position you're in in the form is actually here, tucked in your arm, but it really wouldn't matter. Um, you could do it from a regular figure eight position as well, or you could do it from here, so don't, don't stress about that. Uh, your right palm is up, your left palm is down. Now, I'm left-handed, so I like to switch in the middle, um, so you can do it that way, um, but for explaining purposes, I'm gonna explain it with the right hand palm up. So the idea is, okay, is I'm doing my figure eight, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna step through. I'm gonna step, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna turn back around while continuing the figure eight the whole time. All right, it actually looks like this when I'm actually just doing it. One, two, three. Okay, it's a cool little spin. Um, look at my feet first. My feet are here, my left leg is back. I'm doing the figure eight and just worry about my feet. It's gonna be left, my focus turns here, right, and my focus comes back here. Okay, so again, just look at the feet. The footwork is one, two. And I'm trying to be very like purposefully silly about my head direction because I want you to see what's happening as you're doing it. Okay, so here's red side of my tape. I'm doing my figure eight, I'm doing my figure eight, I'm doing my figure eight. All right, when the red side is going from my left side to my right, that's when I step. So I step on the figure eight when I'm going here. The red piece comes up and when it's coming up past my face again, I do my next step. So it looks like I'm swinging it up. Comes back around, and I'm into my figure eight. So again, here's my figure eight. Okay, when the red piece comes forward, up past my head, and this is where most people make their mistake. They they go too far in this swing before they step. You want to step right as it's just about at the top. Because now I have that nice big arc as I come back around. Okay? If you find the bow is getting caught under your arm here, that means you're, you're taking too long to step. Okay? So one more time from this point of view. Here I am. Red tape comes forward. When it gets back up toward my head, I step backwards and I continue around, okay? Ms. McKenzie's gonna come over on this point of view now. Same move, we're just gonna look at it from, like I said, all four sides so you can see it. Here's the figure eight, here I'm going, 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 going. Okay, remember, because it's a figure eight, it's okay to bring your hands closer together. The closer together your hands are, the faster the bow will spin. So you can start further apart, just so that way you get, to get it down and then get them closer. Okay, red tape goes forward as I step, as it gets back up toward that top position, I step backwards, it comes up, and continues on the other side. Okay, I'll do it one time. Relatively normal. One, two, three. All right, Ms. McKenzie's gonna go behind me now. And I know we say behind me, but remember, there's a moment where I do have to turn around this way. So here I am, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. As the red tape comes forward, I step, it comes up, here's where I go back, and back forward again. Okay, and then we'll do it from the last side. Here I am, I'm going flower, 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 our figure eight, I step, it comes up, I step back, and I'm back to normal, okay? You can stay there for a minute. Now, just a, a side note, as I was saying, um, I'm left-handed, so I like to change which hand's in charge of the bow. Did you see that? 
Right palm up, left palm down. I changed my grip, left palm up, right palm down. Um, but the movement is still the same. Let me get the red piece back. When the red piece moves forward, that's when I step. It comes up, I step back, and I go back into my figure eight. So the moves themselves do not change, but what hand I have up or down does. Um, you should be able to do it either way. But again, if you're, if you're left-handed and, and you just feel more comfortable with your, hand in, your left hand in control of the bow, you can change it and keep going, okay? All right, that's flowering, all right? Remember, that's one move in that form. All right, the other 65 you still got to work on.